<clears throat> okay, yeah, so I guess how did you, have you kind of got involved with this cemetery <coughs> project and how, how did your kind of past collide with this? Okay. <coughs> so um, the, my, initial <coughs> my initial sort of solitary idea um, came about <coughs> through some kind of discussions around um, having something called a solar tree at Glastonbury Festival. Um, because <coughs> Michael Evis installed the biggest private uh, PV array in, in the planet, virtually, in, in Britain anyway, it's absolutely enormous. But of course you can't see any of it, and there was, a, there was a, an idea of making it more visible to them, particularly to the festival people. So I came up with a proposal. <coughs> I didn't go for it in the end, uh, probably due, uh, due to money, actually. But anyway, so this, this proposal was sitting in the, in the ether in Bristol, in particular in Bristol, and uh, connections and connections. Um, Dan kind of found images of this, contacted me, and started chatting about his project, or their project, which just sounded fasc fascinating, you know, really good. Much, much smaller than my original proposal, but, <coughs> but possibly more suitable. You know, I mean, it's always good to prototype things in, on a small scale. Um, I mean, I particularly like this project um, because um, it's, it's not only socially but ethically kind of engaged. Um, the, whole <coughs> the whole ethos of, of bringing um, uh, alternative energy into the, into the affordability of, of ordinary people, not just people that have got, you know, 10 grand to spare kind of thing, is, is extremely important. And... Um, and the rest of the project, of course, is, is about is about helping helping poor families grow their own food. You know, again, things these things are just fantastically important. So, um, and so my role is just is just to make this this tree thing, which is which is you know I always I always envisaged as being more more of a um, uh, a visual thing and an educational thing, rather than a, rather than something that was going to be highly efficient. Because the conventional, the conventional uh, knowledge is that uh, photovoltaics have to all face the same direction, but this the waters are now very muddy around this, um, due to some slightly, slightly questionable research uh, in the states, which has got some publicity, um, claiming that a Fibonacci arrangement of of, of leaves gives a, gives a more more efficient. Uh, output than than a standard PV array. So what me and Dan are going to do is <coughs> is actually examine, get some empirical data. We're going to set up the same size of standard PV array using the same recycled, well, rather scrap solar cells. So we'll have the same the same theoretical output, but we're going to empirically compare compare the two over the year and just find out, you know, well. Because <coughs> actually, if you look at if you look at um, if you look at trees, you would expect, given given the conventional wisdom, that all of the leaves should face south. They don't. Um, now, the reasons that it's going to be complex, but if you're not curious about that, then then there's something wrong. You know. There you go. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really, that's, that's <coughs> what I mean. That, that leaves <coughs> places 